This wife was angry her husband always worked late, until she found out why. Indiana natives David and Jonah met when they were both in their 20s, but they couldn't have been more different. David grew up in a hard-working Amish community while Jana made a living writing a blog on the internet. Regardless, they loved each other and decided to get married. But when David started coming home late, Jana suspected the worst. Determined to find out why he worked such long hours, Jana began to think. What she didn't expect was to figure out the why and feel beyond guilty for being angry. David and Jana were in their 20s when they met back in 2012. It was a quick romance. And on Thanksgiving, about a year later, David proposed in front of their friends and family. At the time, Jonna was pregnant with their little girl. The proposal was perfect. They were going to start a family together. So, after their daughter arrived and they said their vows, the two couldn't have been happier. But Joanna was about to find something out. Jonna was a small-town girl from Indiana. And while most people wouldn't think it because of where she's from, Jonna prides herself as being a loudmouth. She even said that she finds it fun to create awkward conversations and jokes. It's pretty much her superpower. As the years went by, she realized she could create web and video content for people to watch as entertainment. As it turned out, people loved her channel. On her blog and social media channels, Jonna is commonly known as the real blunt blonde. And, honestly, the nickname very much suits the stay-at-home mom who says, people think I'm always joking, but I'm not. I'm genuinely an unpleasant person and hate everyone equally. She even jokes around, calling herself a stay-at-home slave who won't have any hair by the time they're 30. Pretty much, she loves self-deprecating humor, and apparently, so do her fans. David was also from a rural town, but that's pretty much where the two lovebirds' similarities started and ended. While Jonna was very outspoken, sarcastic, and a jokester, David grew up a bit reserved in an Amish community. He had all of the groomsmen wear bow ties to the wedding, something Jonna wasn't exactly thrilled about at the time. She even admitted to exploding when she learned that Amish men don't wear ties. As you can imagine, the two grew up very differently. So, how are they going to make it work? Growing up in a Swiss-German Amish community, David was in use to modern technology, learning how to do things the old-fashioned way. Because of this, David and Jonna have very little in common. While David drives a buggy, Jonna admits that she almost drove one into a tree. Due to his upbringing, David is also calmer and serene, while his wife is a wild child, running her mouth on the internet every other day something he also doesn't fully understand. Nevertheless, both David and Jonna love each other and believe that opposites attract. So, they've learned to live with one another David with the new technology, and a whirlwind wife, and Jonna with a very old-fashioned husband who doesn't know how to use Google properly. On her blog, Jonna said, All I really knew about, Amish community, was that they made donuts that would slap your taste buds with happiness you've never experienced before. With a lot of mommy bloggers in the internet world, it takes a lot for someone to really stand out. Thankfully, for Jonna, she had something up her sleeve, and it was a bit different than the other bloggers at Factor. That thing was her Amish husband. What better marketing strategy is there than a newly married couple with an internet blogging wife and a husband who grew up without technology? Was it interesting to the readers? You better believe it was. With a young daughter, a house to take care of, and maintaining her vast online presence, you can imagine Jonna was very busy and typically on a very tight schedule. And considering David worked out of the house, she was by herself most of the day. But, she had to admit, that even with all of the daily responsibilities she had, Jonna loved her blog and spending as much time with her daughter as possible. While Jonna stayed at home with their young daughter, David went to work at a nearby RV dealership. There, he worked long hours, often staying late into the night. But, with his Amish upbringing, no one really expected him to do anything less. But that left Jonna alone. And while she had her many internet followers, that didn't replace the company of her husband. She missed interacting with him and began feeling very lonely. The long hours and loneliness were stressing Jonna out, and it made her mind run wild. The long hours of David's workdays began to stress Jonna out. One day, on her blog, she even wrote, 
I'm wedded to an industrious man, and I would be dishonest if I alleged that it didn't stress me. The stay-at-home mom admitted to being angry with her husband because of all the time he put into his job. It was even taking a toll on his appearance, giving him cracked hands and crow's feet all before the age of 30, something Jonna was not happy about. Although it was a bit petty of Jonna to not appreciate David's hard work that left him with rough hands and facial lines, she was aware she's putting him in a no-win situation. One blog post said, he literally can't succeed. If David doesn't work later than usual, we will not get the new fixture set that I need to have. However, if he works late, he returns home to an irritating wife who is longing for his attention. I am egocentric in our union, and I recognize that. Jonna reflected on her marriage one night when she was waiting for David to come home from work, comparing it to the fairy tales she used to read as a little girl. In a blog post, she said, I don't remember the prince absent from dinners for the reason that he was working overtime or retiring to bed not long after he came to his palace since he was so tired. But Jonna was missing one vital piece of information about the prince in her stories. What Jonna forgot is that the prince in her stories didn't need to work to provide for his family, he was already rich and living a lavish life in a palace. But that didn't matter because as time went on, she became more and more frustrated with the long hours. And that frustration grew into anger. With her emotions boiling, Jonna decided she was going to confront David and ask where he's been, and why he didn't want to spend time with his family. To keep her mind off of her growing anger and resentment, Jonna did chores. It helped her keep control of things when everything seemed out of control. So, when she heard the dryer go off, she didn't think twice about going and folding all of the clothing. But doing such a mind-numbing task didn't help her wandering thoughts. Her husband was late, once again, and she had no idea where he could possibly be. Of course, being the blogger she is, Jonna wrote to her followers. She said, why doesn't he wish to spend some time together with me? We're newlyweds, aren't we meant to be in the honeymoon phase? Of course, Jonna's thoughts weren't abnormal, as a lot of women have an image of what marriage should be in their heads. And having a new husband who doesn't want to spend any time at home was not it. Jonna's mind was wandering while she was separating her clothing from her husband's, folding them in different piles to be put away. And, honestly, the act made their separation that much more difficult for Jonna to deal with. But then something happened. While Jonna was folding the clothing, she noticed something very strange, something she didn't notice before. It was then that she started to think back on their marriage. There was something distinctly different about their clothing. Keep reading to find out what. While folding their laundry, Jonna noticed something very strange. She wrote on her blog, Why did my garments look lively, sparkling, and new? His were filthy, stained, and worn out. She distinctly remembered both of them going clothing shopping. But when she thought back on the day, she didn't remember her husband actually purchasing new clothes for himself, just for her and their daughter. With that memory in her mind, Jonna became lost in thought. After thinking things over, Jonna felt bad about wanting to confront David about his long hours. She thought it was petty and selfish for her to do so since he was obviously working that hard in order to provide for his family. On her blog, Jonna wrote, This man provided more than I ought to have. If I let him know I desire something, hardly ever will he say no. It was obvious to her that she married a very hardworking and loving man. Jonna had been bitter about David's long hours for a while. So, it took her some time to finally calm down and realize why he was out of the house so much, working himself to the bone. It was all for her and their daughter. So, how could she be angry with someone who was doing all they could to provide for their family? Answer, she couldn't. It wasn't as if he was out partying or had a secret family on the side. In her blog, Jonna wrote, he spoils me with the fruits of his toil, and he is fine with a pair of tattered boxer briefs. I was behaving as if he was elsewhere enjoying with his friends, however, his clothes told a whole different narrative. It was a huge life lesson for Jonna. First, she shouldn't jump to conclusions before knowing the entire story, and second, if she wanted to have nice things, David was going to have to work. As Jonna continued to think about it, she realized she was acting silly. Of course, David didn't want to work long hours. 
He'd much prefer to be at home with her and their daughter, helping raise and take care of her. Jonna realized that while she spent every day with their young daughter, David was missing out on the early years of her life. Obviously, he'd rather be at home being a father than at work selling RVs. It was obvious to her now, especially considering he never came home in a bad mood. Yes, he might be exhausted, have rough hands, and look like he just put in a 20-hour day, but he was always cheerful, especially when he saw their daughter. In her blog, Jonna wrote, his heart is filled with joy the moment he comes, through, the door and Delany rushes to him gleefully shouting, Dada. Jonna now understood why he was always working such long hours. And she felt bad for ever doubting him. She also wrote about how he finally has everything he wants in life, saying, he dreams of being capable of being a man and supply for his new family have come true. David has all he has ever sought after in life. It was with that thought that made Jonna realize she couldn't be mad at David when he comes home from work late. Everything he did was to make a better future for their family. Jonna wrote, Undoubtedly, I miss him and would like to hang out with him during the week, however, I have understood he is giving me the most amazing form of love there can be. He toils to provide our family with all we require. He works so that his spouse and daughter don't lack, although there are times I'm certain he does. But a marriage is a two-partner deal, so David promised to make an effort to be around the family more. It was a great lesson for Jonna that a marriage requires a lot of communication and understanding. So, next time, instead of jumping to conclusions, she was going to talk to her husband. The blogger also had some words of wisdom for her followers. Jonna wrote, if you have an industrious man in your life, but you can't understand to what extent he loves you. Perform his laundry. And for some of her readers, that was exactly what they needed to hear.